Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome to another PS Vita video. So, I'm going to take a look at Oli Oli today, which is this really cool, really unique side-scrolling skating game. Um, it's, it's got an awesome art style, this awesome kind of pixelated art, art style, and it is available today if you are in the UK or Europe, and it was available yesterday if you are in America. Um, unlike kind of your conventional skating games, you know, obviously you've got kind of an open world or an open area or kind of a park to go in you kind of move around in 3d space you tend to sort of you know do all your tricks and all that kind of stuff this one as i said is side scrolling so it's really cool in that respect it's got this really cool sort of art style to it and it's really quite simple and basic in its kind of control style but that also adds the complexity it's really weird because so you're obviously going to see it you know what I'm, what I'm about to do is i want to run through the tutorial and then i'm going to run through the first level at the end as well so you can see me kind of put what i've learned to the test but to kind of explain ahead of time this basically two main control inputs. You'll have X, which is either to start or to kind of push yourself along to speed up, and then also to land. And then you've also got your left stick, which is either you kind of hold it down or hold it in different angles to sort of charge a jump. And then when you let go of it, you'll then jump and you can then do an input like a quarter circle, half circle, 360, something like that, and it will input tricks for you. So they are your two core mechanics. You know, it will kind of build on that slightly later on, but primarily those are the two things you'll use. So you might think to yourself, you know, that sounds a bit easy, but it's really, really weird because you kind of need to reprogram your mind in, in some sort of way because from skating games I've played in the past or even snowboarding games, you know, you typically expect that if you do a trick, so long as you turn your character so that the skateboard is facing downwards, you expect to be able to land. You know, as long as you're not landing on your head, then normally you think it's alright. But in this one, you actually have to press X to land. Um, I mean, what well, I say, if you want to bank your points, because basically what happens is, you know, you go along, you do your tricks, as you would expect, you get points for them, uh, you know, the better, the better your tricks, the more points, but when you land, you need to do a good landing, and you do that by pressing X, and that basically banks your points. If you don't, then you get a sketchy landing, and then obviously you lose all your points, or you lose most of your points. Now, the weird thing is, though, you know, it's kind of trying to get that into your mind, because as I say, you know, when you're going through this level, there are some of them are really quite fast paced, you know, you jump on grind rails, go down these ramps, jump over obstacles, keep going, you know, jump, grind, trick, all that kind of stuff. And then when you start really getting into motion, you often forget, oh crap, I need to make myself land. And then it's really weird. So that's kind of where the challenge aspects come in because, you know, the levels are quite fast paced, they're quite short, but there's quite a, you know, a lot of things you need to be doing throughout the whole thing, you know, so you can never really kind of sit down and relax. Um, but that is really good, you know, as I say, it's really, really simple, but it's really addictive. And it's really, really worth your, you know, worth your time. If you haven't picked this up or you haven't tried it out, there isn't a demo, but it is only really cheap. You know, it's it's seven ninety nine on PlayStation Network. Um, and if you're a PlayStation Plus member, I believe it's about six pound thirty nine, six pound forty nine, something like that. You get a bit of a discount. It's not much, but you get a discount. Um, and yeah, I just I really recommend it. You know, if you like skating games, or if you don't, and you like side scrolling platformers or games with kind of cool, unique retro kind of visual styles then yeah you know it's, it's for you it's just it's, as i say it's really simple really addictive just really enjoyable so definitely check it out um there's not really a lot more for me to kind of say about the game i kind of just want you to sort of watch it and see it for itself you know you'll kind of if you see it in front of you you obviously know straight away whether whether it's something that's going to kind of interest you or not but i do recommend giving it a try um and yeah that's basically about it so Hopefully you enjoy the rest of the video. As always, don't forget to hit that like button, give it a thumbs up, show your support, it does really help me out. Obviously, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and also stay tuned to the Arix Gaming Facebook and Twitter pages for all your updates throughout the week, and so you know when all these videos drop. But thanks again for watching, take it easy, catch you next time. Peace out.